Greetings from Team Sigma 9692. Welcome to our course on Path Planner. Across this presentation, we will explore the four main phases. Installation, Code, Software, and Testing. Over this presentation, we will include how to use Path Planner and implement it for the FRC 2024 Kitbot. There are two main parts of the installation phase. Path Planner Code and the Path Planner Software. Go to this link on the official first website. Scroll down and open code and software guides. Once the zip file for Java has been downloaded, open it and extract it. Next, open it on your respective app provider and search Path Planner. Install the app named FRC Path Planner. In this app, open the project you downloaded. Once this is done, open the menu from the top left corner. Then click the Docs button, this should open the official Path Planner documentation. Next, we learn how to implement the Path Planner library into code. From the Path Planner documentation, under the Path Planner lib section open Getting Started and copy the Path Planner library for Java. Next, open your code you downloaded on Versus Code. Click on the WIB lib icon on the top right and select Manage Vendor Libraries. In the following submenu, select the Install New Libraries Online and paste the link you copied here and then press Enter and build your code. Next, in your drive subsystem import all the necessary libraries and start with the Auto Builder configuration. The initial tutorial is on the Path Planner documentation and covers the following slides. This is the exact code you will need to write. Next, create your command methods like intake and shoot, along with any other mechanisms you have on your bot. You can initialize these in the robot container system as shown below. Next, you will be introduced to the Path Planner app. The Path Planner software is divided into two main parts. Paths and Autos. Primarily, we open the menu in the top left corner. Then on your browser, you can open a CAD model of your robot. For this depiction, we are using the FRC Kitbot. Here are the specifications for the FRC Kitbot on the CAD model. Returning to the menu, you can open the settings which allows you to enter your robot specifications, including the width, length, and speed. Now let's move on to the path section. A path is just a way of movement for your robot. A waypoint is the start point, end point, and any other point needed for your robot to move during its journey. By adjusting these points, you can adjust the way and direction your robot moves. Always keep a sound nomenclature. Next we move on to autos. Initially, keep a starting position as per the challenge rules. This position can be adjusted using the menu on the right. Click the plus next to the sequential group and a list should appear. If you click follow path, then you can include any of the paths you designed earlier in the path segment. Next is commands. Any commands that you have activated in your code can be used. Next, we have the wait function. This can add a pause between two actions. Next, we have parallel groups. It is like a sequential group and has a sub-menu inside it, but the actions in this sub-menu happen at the same time. The question on your mind may be, how do we implement this code on our robot? To load an auto, we have a template provided by the Path Planner documentation, and this is an example code on how to use it. Once this is done, you can use the FRC driver station and the autonomous function to start running the robot. Thank you for your time from Team Sigma 9692, and please make sure to follow us on Instagram for more such informative content.